Right, so let's get this plugged in. Let's just do that. To do what I've just done there, you just, let me just undo that for a second. Control Z, Control Z. Right, um, if I hold, hold this node down and hold down the uh, Alt key, when I get near to a connection, it highlights. If I then let go of the my uh, left click, it's going to ask me what I want to plug in. And I'm just gonna say, well, I wanna plug in geometry. And it just connects the two of them. Very neat, I like that. So on the source color property node, we're gonna pick a color. And I'm gonna do that by, I've just got like something open in the screen next to me. And I won't put it on screen because of, I don't know, copyright or whatever, but you can use whatever. We're only picking a color. It's not like we're stealing anything. Um, I've just got Pinterest open and I'm just grabbing like a coffee-ish color. Let's just get something fairly light. And there we go, we've got like a chocolatey color there. Actually, I might use this one that I picked up earlier, kind of a coffee-ish color. And nothing's gonna show up because we need to rewind first. And then we can see that we've got color showing up on our points. And then any subsequent gel that we plug in after this, that's got a source color property node and we choose a color, it's then going to show up. So it's just this one little node you need that you're gonna create yourself. So, right, that is uh, that emitter. Now the next two emitters are the ones either side of this. So I'm just gonna select those, drag those into the scene. And we're just gonna pause the graph, control and period. And I'm just gonna select the source color and the NPM gel. I'm gonna go control C, control V to copy and paste it. Cause I wanna keep all of those settings now this came in as an input by path, which means there's two pieces of geometry in there. And later on down the line, we're gonna want this source to only see one piece of geometry. So we have to put down what's known as a merge geometry node, basically like combining geometry in Maya. And we just plug that into there and it just stops it from being like an array of objects. And then we can plug that into NPM gel like that. And then plug this one into the sources. And if we unpause, and rewind and press play we can see that we can't see anything but that's probably because they're so small at the moment actually no it's because they're the same color um so let me just change the color of those i'm telling you how to do it but i'm not doing it myself and hopefully that's different enough if i rewind and play there we go we can see that there are actually different color particles coming down there now everything's not looking great at the moment because we haven't got much resolution. So we're just gonna up the resolution a little bit and probably what's, it's a good point to do like a little play blast. Let's just go to like 0 0.7. I'm gonna untick detect discontinuity because I've had issues with that in the past and really it's more of a cloth thing, but I'm just gonna untick that. And we're also gonna tick while we're here, very important for later on, label sources. Okay, make sure label sources is ticked on because later on we're going to separate out all of these different gels so that we can cash out different meshes and then so that we can shade them however we want okay so let me just double check did i change that detail size yeah let's rewind let's just do a quick play blast so we can see where we're at so i'm just gonna go windows play blast let's go 250 and just hit uh, let's just call this and I will pause the video and we'll come back to it. Okay, so here's a play blast. It's actually not that high resolution really, but we can sort of understand what's happening. I like the way this is twisting around and I like the way that kind of stops there. That's quite fast at the moment. It's falling, I would say it's falling quite hard and these parts are really dripping down. So I'm just gonna change the gravity on this. Just gonna bring the gravity down to about 5.8, I think. Just so the gravity is not pulling so hard. There's nothing wrong with changing your gravity at all. This is all about what works for your simulation. I'm gonna take this detail size down to five. I'm gonna do another play blast and see how that looks. Right, so look how this is going. So you're taking that gravity off a little bit. That stopped that from pulling down so much. And that looks cool. I'm quite happy with that. I'm sure that when we sort of dial in the resolution in a little while, this is gonna be just perfect for what we want. So that's all good. So let's move on to uh, dripping the chocolate sauce over the top. I'm gonna grab these two and Control C and Control V. 
and we're going to get this little emitter guy from up here drag that in and into that source material there and we'll just plug that into sources right so I kind of want this to be like a dark chocolate so I'm just going to grab a darker chocolate color or something that looks chocolatey let's just go with oops oops give them let's go with something dark like that cool now in terms of when this starts and when this finishes I want it to start just after this is falling or just while this is falling so around 240 is going to be our start frame maybe slightly earlier maybe 235 and it's going to finish let's see when all of its animation finishes it's going to finish around 340 now the settings for this one are quite important. Uh, the first thing we're going to look at, we're going to keep the uh, voxels and the surface the same. First thing we're going to look at is mass. Now if I simulate this with the mass as it's set up, in fact let's do that. Let's leave it at the, the mass that is currently set up. And we'll just play around with some of the other settings here. Um, viscosity, because it's like a gloopy kind of chocolate, I want it to be able to kind of like, I want its motion to merge out around other particles around it. So I'm going to put this at about 0 0.016, 0 0.016. Volume preservation is fine as that is. Leave the vibration like that. And then yield stress, we're going to have this really low, about 0 0.07. These are some settings that I've used earlier. So, you know, it's just easier if I just put them in now rather than going through multiple rounds of play blasts and whatnot. And inherent velocity, because we're just sort of moving backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards in this emitter up there, I'm going to bring this down to about 0.5. And we'll just do a little simulation just to see what this looks like with the mass at 250. So I'll just do a quick play blast and we'll come back to it in a second. Alrighty, so let's take a look at this. There goes our first emission. And then really what I'm looking for is this chocolate, just to show what happens. Now you see how that chocolate's coming over and it's literally just destroying everything that's on top of it. Now that may be cool, that may be something you're going for, but it does show that we've got like a lot of mass in that chocolate. It may well happen in real life, but I kind of want ours to sort of drip over the top, almost like that kind of really nice sauce that you get on ice cream. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Quite simply really, just go into the mass section and we're going to scroll down find the mass so at the moment it's set to like 250 i'm going to put that down to like something ridiculous like 10. and i might actually change the frame range because i saw that this perhaps animates a bit earlier uh, what do we set out we're set at 215. Um, let's go let's wait for that to scale down that to drop let's go like 195 oops 195 um, and I'll just take down that detail size a bit more so we just get a bit more resolution in there I'm going to take that down to 0 0.04 and we're going to do another play blast and see where we're at I think we're almost there with this section so here we go with the new simulation And this time we can see that that mass is having much less of an effect on our initial cream. So you can see that it's not pushing it down really hard and we just get like a nice drip going over the top, which is perfect. It's really cool. It's just how I want it. So yeah, that's great. We can move on to the next section.